guys, it's Tina the Scrap and Rabbit, and I thought I'd just pop in to do a quick video. I am um, getting ready to go to a little crafty mini meetup with some of my girlfriends, and of course, I'm on the wire trying to get some projects done. It's been a very big release week with Jaded Blossom, and I've had such a great time doing all those critters. But my little mini meetup, the theme is flamingos, and I decided to do a topper using this Sizzix Lori Whitlock die. And I got this, I think, on Amazon um, a, a little while back, and I got it for a really good deal. I mean, I don't think it was more than $12, which is a fantastic price for something like this. And it's a really good sized die, and I know that I've seen a few people use it, so I'm sure probably a lot of you have it. But for those of you who didn't, I just wanted to, to show you how it works. I decided to go ahead and use the flowers that come with the die, and they're pretty cool because you get the flowers and I didn't do the embossing I believe that if I ran it through they have these little holes in them and so I think that if you ran it through you would get that embossed impression on the flowers well because I'm so on the wire I didn't have time to run through anything twice so I just cut the flower layers out as they were and so I chose this one I inked and I curled the petals and I just wanted to show you how cool they are because they have these little holes so you can just line up the holes as well as the leaves and just and I'm thinking this is saving me so much time because I don't have to glue each individual piece together I'm just lining up the little holes and I'm sticking these little brads in there and look at how cute is that oh this one brad has a little speck of something on it let me get one that's clean and look how cute is that and then you just do that and boom your flower and you can just kind of arrange it how you want it you can double up the leaves just go for a three leaf look um, and then and then I can glue it down and so with the flamingos since that is our theme this is a doodle bug flamingo and I got the SVG from the Lori Whitlock uh, site and it is uh, it's really cute I mean I was surprised though that it didn't line up as well as like some of my Cricut cuts I've purchased a lot of Lori Whitlock doodle bug uh, critters but I have this is the first time that I've cut them out and so I had to really, really fuss to try to get them to line up. And I'm, I'm a pretty good paper piece, sir. <laughs> and so some of them lined up a little bit better than others. But I had to really struggle because the pieces were not exactly the same size, as you could see. They were, they were just, none of them were going to line up perfectly because they just were cut a little bit different and so that's what I found with this flamingo but it still looks cute and so I'm happy with that and so I did cut out the topper and I spent a while trying to figure out how I was gonna what papers to use and I decided to go for something a little bit more less flowery since I was gonna add the flower on there and this has a little sparkle and so now I'm just in the process of trying to place everything and figure out where I want to put it and so I'm going to mess with it a little bit and then I'll show you what I ended up with. All right, so these are my finished goodies. So let me show you. I finished the topper and I went ahead and I stamped Be a Flamingo in a World Full of Pigeons. And that is using this Jaded Blossom Tickled Pink stamp set. And so I stamped and embossed that on there. I went ahead and I glued the flamingo and I popped this up with some tape. And then so for my goodies, I uh, at my local scrapbooking store, there was a store buster with all of these Hampton Art stamps and, so I, and ribbon. And so I bought a couple of the bundles. And so here I just split them up and I'm giving each of my gal pals a Hampton Art stamp set with a ribbon and so this is how I packaged it it's kind of a large size and so this larger topper really came in handy for that and so they're really really cute I love these stamps because they look like they're just going to be so much fun to color with pencils or markers or Copics whichever you know I think that they're really pretty and there's some really cute ones in here and there's little sentiments and little coordinating stamps to go with it for cards 
and some of these, some of my friends uh, still do pocket letters, and so I think that you can still, they're a little bit bigger than a pocket letter, but you could still use them and then just cut them down to size. So that's what I did, and this is how I packaged it. So this is for my little flamingo meetup, and um, these are the goodies, and I hope the gals like them. I'm kind of stepping away a little bit from all the little bits and pieces of paper and stuff. <laughs> Because when I've gone to these meetups and I have so much of it, I'm like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do with it. So I'm kind of stepping up my game a little bit on my little goodies. And so I hope they, they love these stamps as much as I do. So now I'm going to work on my, I'm going to do a loaded envelope since I just do not have time to make a mini album or a flip book or anything like that. I've never made a loaded envelope, but I'm hoping to get that done for this swap. It's just been so, so busy and so crazy for me, and I'm just trying to keep up with all of my projects. Okay, so let's see what I can get done. Okay, you guys, so this was a whirlwind project and not my best work, but I really wanted to participate today because my last meetup was a mermaid meetup and I was able to do the goodies, but I wasn't able to do the actual swap. And so I'm, and I'm embarrassed to say that I'm still working on it. It should have been done for today. And it just, I'm so far behind you guys, <laughs> but I do, I'm making a mermaid, um, an envelope style flip book and I promised a tutorial on that and so that is what I've been working on and I did not want to throw it together I wanted it to be really really nice because I don't like to throw things together and this really stressed me out because I threw it together <laughs> so this is my very first loaded envelope and there are not there are not um, handcrafted goodies in this a lot of handcrafted goodies just because of the time factor and so obviously I didn't have time to do a flip book but anyway so let me just go ahead and show you the, the theme of course is flamingos and so this envelope is an SVG that um, this has got some little threads on there let me pull that off this is an SVG, and um, Lori Nunemaker did it, and um, she created this SVG. So this is her SVG that I was able to download uh, from watching one of her YouTubes, and it has the little gussets in there, and so there you go. So my theme is black, white, and pink, and I use the same doodle bug cutout that I did for my goodies for here. And then this hello is a um, an SVG that I created actually that I cut out with the black glitter paper and everything's still drying so I'm hoping that it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and share with you what's inside. So for um, the big pocket, I have some uh, border stickers that are really really pretty, and they're in the pink to go with the flamingo. This little pen I picked up at Target over Valentine's Day, and it's got this um, tool pom-pom on it. I thought that was super cute. I um, This is a pad of paper that I found. Oh, goodness, it's probably going to all be stuck. Okay, so this I found, I believe, at Marshall's. And then I added some little sticky memos, and that is from the Daiso store so I put that together these I believe I found at Tuesday morning and they're these little um, flares and um, I had was gifted some of these and then I was able to drive down to the valley and go to Tuesday morning and I found them so I bought some more and so I thought that to gift out and those were really cute here are some stickers that I found at the Dollar Tree and they're like spring and summer themed. I cut out one of the gable box dies from the Jada Blossom release and with some leaves on there so that they, whoever gets this swap will be able to use that. I have some of this uh, vellum photo mats and stickers. I used to be a creative memories consultant a gazillion years ago and I still have a lot of fun little things like that and so I'm going to start gifting those out so they don't just sit in my box forever and then I have some star paper clips in there so now I did hand make this flower shaker 
and I did that one a while ago and so I'm gifting that with this because it has the pink. This tassel here I found at uh, Target and so I'm just clipping it on there with this gold clip that I had. In the front pocket I had made a little flamingo sequin mix with a bunch of sequins that I had so I put together something really pretty and then there's a little doodle bug flamingo clip in there and I also um, ordered some of this flamingo washi tape it's really really cute got flamingos and hearts in there and then I just, just stuck it in this little bag here and then I'm adding the little this flamingo clip and I think I got this one at Target I think Target had some flamingo stuff a while back these are um, some die cuts that I was gifted from my friend Deanna and so I am re-gifting them. They're absolutely beautiful and they're packaged so wonderfully and it works out perfect that I can gift, gift them. Of course, it was hard for me to let them go, <laughs> but I need to start sharing my stash and she sent me a lot of wonderful die cuts. And so I'm going to share just this set here. And here is a die that I bought from um, a scrapbooking uh, sale from my local store and so I'm gonna go ahead and gift that die and so now I'm just putting this back together and so thank you all so much for watching this video thank you for, for stopping by my channel today and um, <laughs> I hope you like this project it was really last minute and I really hope that the receiver will enjoy it and I hope I did a good job like I said this is my very first loaded envelope and I'm just trying so hard to stuff it as full of goodies as I possibly can muster up with a nice presentation and so again I will have more videos this week and until then you guys thanks again and happy crafting bye bye